Art Leopold in Sheffield. And there's quite a nice building here. We haven't got many built, decent buildings left in Sheffield. We do have an occasional one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some lowered windows or windows, doors at street level. Seems rather strange really. But what I'll do is I'll go up to West Street. I'm not showing you at Leopold Street at the moment. I'll go up to the West Street side, show you from that side. And then I'll come back and show you the windows, doors at street level. Or sunken below street level. So we're now on West Street looking at the Leopold Street building. It's a hotel at the moment on this side. And then if you go in to the other side you'll find you can actually get into like a courtyard and there's food places and various things. It's quite a grand building. But the thing is if I walk across the road now and start to show you it's actual street level you'll get the picture. So I'm not a believer one way or the other in mud floods but why so many sunken windows in this building? Don't make sense. Seems some very convincing evidence for the fact you can actually see what this was. They've got some blue plaques here. You can stop the screen and actually read those blue likes. Same on the other side, you can read that plaque just by stopping the screen. And then you've got more windows at street level or beneath street level. And it is really rather strange around here because as you can see there just uh, zoom out a bit and see windows clearly buried beneath ground level I'm sure those windows probably went lower down certainly not a flat earth but I think that's just a off track conspiracy theory but this you've got to con you've got to wonder about it really haven't you like beneath street level like that. I'm just going to go a bit further down for you. So it's actually the Leopold Hotel now but as you can see all these windows beneath street level so I'll leave you to ponder that. I'm not a believer either way in mud floods I've seen some convincing evidence around the world for mud floods, but no, I'm not so sure about Sheffield. But I'll just show you in the courtyard. It's a private area, I think. Oh, I'm not, I think it's a private area. You never know with Sheffield now. They've incorporated everything. But that gives you an idea inside the Leopold Street building. It is grand and it's well worth a look whether you're interested in mud floods or not so that's just a quick video I'll leave that for you to ponder on around the back end of the Sheffield City Hall see the building there and what I'm going to do is I want to show you this building here which comes down onto Leopold Street and uh, let you make your own mind up on it so as you can see, we're down, going below ground level down here. And I'll walk. Walk down the side of the building, as you can see. It's all down below ground level, even a doorway down there. And it's all the way down this row. Now, look, I'm not a mud flood believer sort of thing. Well, sorry, not in the U, not so much in the UK, but there you can see it better. But it is strange how these buildings are below normal level.
not so much here but as you get further down again it drops below ground level see so right down there it's going to be a bit of a back to front video this one because I've done the rest of the building at the uh, start of the video but I just thought that really shows you how this whole level on Orchard Lane is below sort of ground level so you're actually at the uh, end of the video and it will start at the front now <laughs> 